rejection, rejection, rejection. And I'm like, but everybody's telling me the book is good. So I'm not willing to give up on it, but it's a very depressing period. Then, like almost by accident, I was on some website and they, uh, it was something about uh, agents interested in multicultural fiction. Sent the book to them, and within a matter of a couple of weeks, I had three agents who were interested in the book. I actually had the option of picking one of those agents. Pick one of those agents who sold the book in like three months of BT books. Harlequin bought BT books. Uh, and so I got two books out. I don't know, and I went back and I rewrote the first one. That first one that was bad, it's not bad no more because I rewrote it now. I don't think it's bad. Was in Firm Pursuit. The first oh, book I published okay. Okay. was Every Reason Book Out. The second oh, book, the mm. first book I wrote was In Firm Pursuit, which mm. was published second after I wrote it and knew what I was doing. So now I'm ready to go. Got those two books, both on Maybe Essence Best Sellers list. So I'm like, this, this, this happy is going to happen. I wrote, my, I wrote what was then my best book, Murder on the Devil. Um, and I am like, okay. So I decide that I need to leave Harper. Harper's the biggest publisher of, of women's fiction. But I wasn't in their mystery imprint. They were kind of promoting me like romance, but they were promoting the relationship thing instead of the lawyer mystery angel. So I told my agent I really wanted to, you know, I was gonna shop elsewhere for an agent because I wanted to be recognized as a mystery writer. Now, I didn't figure out having trouble with getting an agent. I'm submitting murder on down low, and it's like rejection, rejection, rejection. And I'm like, whoa. Murder on that one? It's a very depressing period. So I ended up calling a guy who uses a writing coach, Michael Levin, who was at, who was at actually, that 